Pete Williams, our chief justice correspondent, has got some new information as well. Pete, good morning. Matt, good morning to you. Uh, this continues to be a, a very complex investigation, and there's a lot of contradictory information out there, but there is some new information this morning from a couple of federal officials um, and state officials. They say now that uh, there were actually four handguns uh, recovered inside the school, not just two, as we were initially told. Four handguns, and apparently only handguns, that were taken into the school. We knew that uh, Adam Lanza, the man said to be the gunman here, also had a assault-style, AR-15-style rifle that he had taken to the school that was in the car he drove there, his mother's car. But we've been told by several officials that he left that in the car. Uh, we're also told that on the 11th of December, on Tuesday of this week, uh, Adam Lanza went to a sporting goods store in Danbury, Connecticut, and tried to buy another rifle, but was uh, denied the ability to, to buy the rifle for a couple of reasons. One is that Connecticut is among the states with stricter gun regulations, and there's a waiting right. period, so he was denied the rifle for that. And finally, and this may be the most telling piece of information, on the 13th of December, uh, there was, and this, we've been told this by a couple of officials, there was some kind of altercation. He went to the school, got in an argument uh, with uh, four staff members, uh, and we're still trying to determine what the nature of that is.